Hi all, welcome to this transfer trading guide, basically focusing on a number of different players from bronze, silver and gold I've transferred from different leagues, different teams and just to kind of explain what this will do to respective SBCs so because smash likes would be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend all the links down below for posting the channel and social media links as always remember to hit that notification bell so you know when uploads are live on the channel we've been grinding videos all day and hopefully you find this useful as always so a number of different players throughout the game have transferred different leagues, different teams, even teams without FIFA, basic, out with um, FIFA basically. So you're welcome to pause on any of these players in particular from bronze, silver, and gold. And I'll just kind of do a little bit of info on a number of these players just to kind of see where they've came from and so forth. And um, like Viviano, he's went from Sporting to Spal. Um, Morozuk has went to Turkey, I believe, with Kai Kur Rizespor, I think it's how you pronounce it. So Alcido's went in back to Mexico. Uh, Bakri Kony is out with FIFA altogether, which is an interesting one. Gary Rodriguez went from Galatasaray to Al Etihad. Pravidic has went from Palk to Al Etihad. Martinez, the Cam from Argentina, he's went to Atlanta and MLS. Boateng Sassuolo to Barca. Then Bellies went from Spurs to Guangzhou RNF. Gelson Martin just went from um, Atletico to Monaco. So, what you generally will find is if they're useful for an SPC, so if in Boateng's case, because he's 81 rated and plays for Susolo, he may be very, very useful for completing the Susolo SPC. So, you, what you then find is it may affect. Like Duncan may affect other midfielders within the Susulo lineup. Um, Sonogo and Bia, um, Sonogo's went from Basel, uh, sorry, Young Boys to Al Ittihad, who have went crazy. So Al Ittihad for the Saudi aspect is cr pretty interesting. And Bia is now a free agent. Van Quer's went from Turkey to Monaco. Alonso has went from different teams in the league. Gil Diaz has went from Norton Forest. Back to Monaco for what I understand and then went from Monaco to Olympiacos. Gil Diaz helps out the Norton Forest route immensely. Silva has left Montreal Impact which I believe helps out that route immensely. And then Joel Campbell has went from Frosinone who helps his own respective team when you build that to Mexico I believe. Which is a very interesting transfer but I believe it would help the team that he plays for in Mexico. So it almost is counterproductive with a lot of the teams. Same with the silvers, same with the bronzes. You sometimes think to say, oh they can't really help, surely, but they do. Like Badashili's went from Monaco. He doesn't really help wholeheartedly, but he's an alternative to Bignaglio um, and um, Subasic. Like the defenders in the mids and these guys at the goal, the silvers in this, I don't always I don't remember all of the players' names like flat out. Sometimes you will remember some of them and some you can't pronounce. Like Ismat Marins went from PSV to Bajitis. Eric Peters has went to Amiens in France, which is a very interesting transfer. Amiens are very expensive to do. And, well, you don't need um, Peters, I believe, to do Stoke. It just makes maybe Stoke a little bit more expensive to do in its own right. Um, Miric, Milic, Misic, the sporting centre mid, he's went transferring as well and helps out another respective league. But what you generally find with the silvers, especially like um, they'll like Fernando, for example, went from the Saudi league to a team out with the game. If they are useful, basically, if they are useful for an SBC, you will constantly find that they have a, they will develop a use. Like Fran Sol, for example, if he hadn't left Vaughan, he would have probably went to a gold, and would have helped Vaughan be a very easier SPC to do. What you generally hope for is the teams, the players sort of have moved from a team out with a league SPC, like Zulch for example, he's went from a team out with a league SPC to a team with a league SPC. Just makes that team become a lot bit easier to do, whether it be a silver, gold, bronze, whatever. It just makes that a little bit easier to kind of put together and you can say, right, if the route was maybe costing, say, 7,000 coins to do it, it might suddenly make it 6,000 coins. And it suddenly might make the SBC more worthwhile from a pack perspective, depending on what the pack obviously was. 
Obviously with bronzes, you will commonly find that they may not have as much impact, but you've got to remember as well with a fair few of the bronzes, whether it be A-League, Pro League, Saudi League, SPFL, Scottish Premiership, um, J-League, some, some of them will just slot in quite nicely, but you've also got to remember if the card that they had originally was, um, say they had an original card that was for the team that they've maybe been on loan for for say six months, they've then rejoined their old team, and then say, depending when the old, like this new card of their current club that they're, they're at just now, so say, they've maybe in say, Omaniga's case, he's at Genoa, he's went to Hibs, but then suddenly he's went to another team kind of aspect. So like, say the Hibernian card has existed for a few weeks and you're suddenly like, oh, like the perfect example was the, J um, the Japanese player, um, it, it, I can, I can't, I've still never been able to pronounce his name when I've been practicing off camera. He has got a J-League card, he's got a Groningen card, and he's got a Man City card. I think the Man City card was only in circulation for like not even at all. But if you were to have a player like that where they're in three different leagues suddenly and you're able to acquire it, especially if it's useful for three different league SBCs, then in my personal opinion you suddenly might have a card that's worth a few coins that you can sell on and make a bit of profit with. But all in all, hopefully this gives you a bit of um, an idea of what to do with bronze, silvers and gold. Let me know in the comments below folks if you've been doing any of this sort of trading at all. Smash like as always, sub to the channel for new informant, where it is all and I will catch you all later.